Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Susan Jones, and in case you are new here, I upload a video every single Sunday called Susan Sunday Spotlight, and it is just a quick game or activity that you can take and use in your classroom right away. So if that is something that you would like to see every single Sunday, like I said, go ahead and click subscribe and make sure you hit that bell. That way you get notified of every new video I put up. This week I thought I would hop on over with a literacy center game. I haven't done too many literacy games. Um, if you already are following my channel, you might know that I have a couple different playlists that you can choose from. And I have math games, literacy games, outdoor games, um, things like that. So this is going to be a literacy activity that you can go ahead and add and it is perfect for the beginning of the year in first grade or a little bit later on in kindergarten since we are going to be talking about CVC words. CVC words for those that don't know are consonant, vowel, consonant like mop and bag and tip and pen. There's a lot of them, you get it. The name of this game is called Mix Spell Color. And just like any of my print and play games, I don't know if you are familiar with those, but I always make the titles of my activities the, basically the directions for the game so they can remember and see exactly what to do. So in this game, they're going to be mixing, they're going to be spelling, and they're going to be coloring. Let's see how to play. The first thing you'll want to do for this game is you will want to make a bunch of CVC picture cards. So like I said, CVC means consonant, vowel, consonant. So we have bug, we have zip, we have mat. Just a bunch of different words. I have about, let's see, I did six for each vowel. So I have about 30 cards here. And you're just gonna wanna make a bunch of picture cards like so. In this game, students can play by themselves in a center or they can play with a partner. So that's totally up to you. So the first step of this game is mix. So with all the cards, they will kind of shuffle them up and you can have them mix them in a couple different ways. You could either just have them put them face down and kind of mix them all around. I don't love that as much because you can usually see through the back of the card. So instead I like to put them in a bag or here I have just like a little pail and students will go ahead and mix the cards all around. Once they have mixed all the cards, they'll stick their hand in and pick one. Bug. So they mixed, now they're going to spell the word. And since they got bug, they can spell it one of two different ways. I like to have them use, if you just have whiteboards, they can go ahead and use mini whiteboards and a marker to spell it out themselves. I also really love using magnet tiles. Um, I just find this really tactile and hands-on. So they're going to spell bug, B-U-G, bug. So they have picked their word after they've mixed it around, they spelled their word, and now they're going to go ahead and color their word on this little chart here. Essentially what they're doing with this is after they've identified that medial vowel, they're going to go ahead and color the box above the U. So let me go ahead and do that, like so. And if you're playing with two players, you'll go ahead and have them take a turn, so they'll mix, mat. They'll go ahead and spell their word mat, I also love these magnet tiles because the vowels are a different color, which is great, especially when we're talking about CVC words, it really lets them see that. So okay, they mixed, they spell, and now they're going to color. So for this game, students will either keep going either independently or with their partners back and forth until they have filled in one whole column. That just signals the end of the game and it shows that they found six short A words or six short U words or whatever vowel they land on. They found that first and then they can go ahead and if you want them to, you could even extend and answer a few questions about the graph they just made, but that's just, an, like I said, an added extension. They don't need to do that. This type of hands-on activity is great because it has students practicing their phonemic awareness. They are looking at the words and really trying to sound out the different sounds of CVC, S, uh, B, enough where they can segment that word and go ahead and spell it on their own. They're also identifying those middle vowels, so you would not play this game with your students until you've really taught and reviewed all of the vowel sounds for the short vowels which like I said, I would definitely be doing with my first grade class around this time in September. If you're a kindergarten teacher, you could easily save this activity for later on. And if you're teaching second grade and you just have one or two students that really need a little help with their CVC words, this would work for them as well. 
Another option for this, if you wanted to really kind of check in and see if your students were doing this correctly, is instead of having them color in the box like this where you're just graphing it, because I would have my students kind of spell it out right here, you could go ahead and give them colored pencils and students could write the word in the box. These boxes are a little bit small, but most first graders could probably make this work. And that way, if you wanted to, you could go check their sheet real quickly and see that all the words in the a column really are short A C B C words that they could have pulled from the bucket. I actually went ahead and made a bunch of these picture cards and I have this graphing sheet. They are listed below in the comments for you to grab by yourself. I also went ahead and listed the link to these magnet tiles. They were really cheap, the alphabet ones that I got on Amazon. So I listed those down below as well. As always, if you like this activity, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know. And if you try it in your classroom, go ahead and leave me a comment down below or if you plan on trying it. I actually have another CBC game coming for you next week, so make sure your eyes are peeled or actually just make sure you're subscribed to my channel. That way you get notified. See you next week. Bye.